Hi, right, this video is about laptops that overheat. Now, a lot of people have been leaving messages on some of my other YouTube videos saying that their laptop is overheating. So, here's uh, something you could do. See this program right here? Sp Specky. This program is able to tap into the temperature sensors on your motherboard in your laptop and it's able to tell you what the temperatures are. Now, <clears throat> you could download it from downloads.com. So, go to downloads.com and you could download this program. It's free and it's capable of telling you, you know, what your temperatures are, plus a lot of other interesting facts. Um, this particular laptop overheated one day so bad that it actually um, burnt out my video card. Okay? So, let me show you what you can do. I actually took this entire laptop apart and cleaned out the dust uh, when I had to replace the video card. But, let me unplug this thing and show you what you could do today. Okay, so first you have to identify all the little um, fan slots. Okay, this, I, I believe that's a subwoofer port. This um, laptop actually has a 5.1 surround sound. But on this side, that is actually the exhaust port for a fan. And it's a little warm, so what you want to do is take your vacuum cleaner especially if you have a powerful one, use the hose attachment and vacuum this out. Um, you can take apart the entire laptop but let me tell you, um, this laptop it had like 20 screws and it was a big pain taking this apart so I don't really recommend that option try vacuuming everything out first and <clears throat> identify all the vents on your laptop okay as you can see there's a lot on the bottom as well so what I'm what I'm gonna do is show you how I would vacuum this out hopefully getting most of the dust out and if you do have a heat problem like this laptop is right now at, at idle and it's 28 degrees Celsius for the CPU The motherboard is 37 Celsius. Graphics card is 42 degrees Celsius. Hard drive is 31 degrees. We could we could check that after we vacuum it. But like I said, I did take this laptop apart, so I will not be doing that in this video. Um, if you cannot solve your overheating problem by vacuuming all the ports where dust can uh, get in. <clears throat> then you might have to take yours apart to fix your overheating problem. Another thing I like to point out is uh, do not make this mistake. Do not put any laptop on top of a pillow and then put it on your lap. It's because you're going to be blocking all these holes right here which are made specifically uh, to radiate heat out of the laptop. So if you put a, this on a soft pillow where all these get blocked you are you are going to risk damaging your motherboard and your video card and your CPU by basically overheating your laptop especially if um, you put this laptop on a pillow and then started doing something uh, intensive like playing a game or doing some video editing you will definitely overheat your laptop you could break your video card which is exactly what I did um, my video card overheated I mean Granted, this is a laptop that has a, a video card, where is it, that was installed on many computers, including uh, Apple computers, and it was known to overheat. Um, I do not recommend you, you know, you, you should get one of those laptop trays, or versus I built this shelf for the laptop. It's just a regular wooden shelf, and, you know, the laptop will rest on its feet. Okay, 
which will give it like, you know, I don't know, a quarter inch of air travel underneath those little vents so they will not get blocked and there's proper ventilation. So now I'm going to get the loud part of hooking up the hose attachment on my Dyson and vacuuming every little slot out. Alright, so I have the brush attachment hooked onto my Dyson. I'm going to turn it on, it's going to get very loud, but you'll be able to observe where I vacuum this thing. By the way, I'm going to vacuum the keyboard to get all the crumbs out, you know, that happened to fall in over the years. And see, there's a little vent right there as well. Alright, so we just fired up the laptop after giving a thorough vacuuming. Okay, I'm not expecting any great results because uh, I just cleaned this uh, laptop recently. Previously our CPU was 28, now we have 30, so 2 degrees warmer. Motherboard was 37, now it's 31, so 6 degrees cooler. Graphics card it's 42 degrees, which is exactly the same, and the hard drive was 31, now it's 24 degrees Celsius, so that's a little improvement. But basically, I made this video for people who are experiencing serious heat issues, and um, over the years, your laptop will suck in a lot of dust, um, especially if you have like cats and dogs. Trust me, it's going to suck it in, it's going to block all your vents, it could even... If it's so clogged, it could even stop some of your fans from working. And it'll clog your heat sinks and stuff. So if you get a new laptop and just practice, you know, vacuuming it out every month or so, you probably will never get to the point where uh, dust will, you know, truly take over the cooling <clears throat> aspect of your laptop. But um, if it has been years and you never did it and you do try this and it doesn't work, well, worst case scenario, you're going to have to, I recommend you take a lot of photos and unscrew your, the cover to the back of your laptop when it's unplugged and you'll slowly start to uncover areas of dust and you could vacuum those out. So I hope this video has helped you and go ahead and subscribe to my channel YouTube slash Home Edition and click like on the video if you think it's a decent video. Take care.